Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And what are other annoyances? Well, another annoyance that people are finding in Windows 11 is how there is a lack of certain features that people were used to having. Um, for example, the fact that a lot of people say, well, you know what, so I think I'm going to go and use one of those apps like, you know, Start 11 or whatever to get the... Uh, the start menu going normally like it should. Uh, taskbar la lacking options that uh, show labels or groups or, you know, there's a lot of things that slowly are being fixed. Um, you know, the drag and drop feature, stuff like that. A lot of people are used to that right clicking the taskbar and having all the full list of everything you need to do now. It's concentrated on the start menu. These are small annoyances that um, a lot of people kind of don't really like that much. So there's a, a lot of that that is being a problem with um, the usability and, of course, the customization also. Uh, the fact that, um, you know, you have this start menu, but that start menu is very limited in what you can customize and what you can actually get. Even if you remove the recommended section, it still is showing recommended and, and there's a little space there. Uh, the fact that you can't really resize, change any of that. Um, these are all things that people are going crazy. The fact that you can't, even though if you go to a list of apps, you end up with a list of apps that uh, is going to come back to, you know, a, a normal um, start menu like Windows 11 wants you to have it. And so you can't, you know, all the pin icons and there's nothing you can do about it so these are part of the annoyances uh, the fact that even if you would push the start menu to the left and have it you know like a standard windows you still uh, can't have a standard list of apps like before unless you always click to have all apps and it reverts back, of course, like I said. So these are annoyances that are, for some, bigger than others. I've got used to using it like this. I don't mind that much, but I can see that uh, some people that want to have specific ways of, of you know, showing up information might be, uh, might be a little uh, sad about all of it. Um, and it definitely lacks a lot of customization. I know that part of it is done because of Microsoft wanting to minimize the clutter. So instead of having, you know, menus with 25 options, they are trying to make the menus with just the amount of options that are required that people usually use, but not overly saturate the app and the, uh, the usage and the, the, the visibility of every option, basically. So these are other annoyances that people have still a year. And I mean, a year later, we haven't had that much improvements in here. We have had barely a few things. Uh, we're barely having, you know, the option of task manager added to the taskbar settings that not even everybody has yet. Of course, that start menu that you could customize would be nice. Of course, if you want to have an app list that it stayed in the app list rather than the, you know, apps, the pinned apps and stuff like that. These are little things that I think you should have an option that you can show it the way you want. Uh, and resize the start menu, things like that. you got to also understand that the start, the taskbar and the start menu have com been completely rewritten from scratch. They have not been imported before, so that's why a lot of the features are lacking. It's like they have to rewrite all of the features. But... Um, these are some of the other annoyances that people have in Windows 11. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.